For years, Diana was my sole handler at the agency. That was all over the moment she decided to bring the company to its knees. We had trust. I've always wondered, despite my line of work, if I could still consider myself a good man. How does a good man decide when to kill? I guess it depends on the nature of how good a man considers himself to be. I've killed many people. It's what I do. I can't say I'm particularly proud of it. But I can say I'm good at it. After all these years, the only thing that kept me going was knowing that these people were criminals in one way or another. They had it coming. My contracts take me all over the world. I can be anywhere, at any time. They'll send me because I'm the best they've got. They know I'll get the job done. I've killed countless men, men who didn't deserve to live, not by my company's standards, by mine. A strange thing happens to a man when he's killed so many. He feels nothing. But this time, the contract they offered me for Diana, I'm beginning to think what she did was right, saving that little girl. Diana didn't want Victoria to end up like me, and I killed her because of that. They've trained me to be a killer, to not feel. But what I feel now is revenge. I know now what must be done. I'm going to finish what Diana started. The place where I was raised, they didn't give us names, they gave us numbers. Mine was 47.